friends and welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Callie Bransonfort and I've shared a lot of Dollar Tree storage and organization videos over the years and I thought it'd be fun to kind of sit down and compile like my favorite ones that I really legitimately use in my house every single day or have used in my house for like long periods of time on a daily basis. So if you're looking for some uh, organization ideas that are not going to break the bank, this is the video for you. Let's do it. All right, first up is using the napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. You can actually very easily combine these using Dollar Tree zip ties. Zip tie each end and then cut off the excess zip tie. And these work amazing as paper or mail organizers. I love using them to store mail in a living space. Also works really great in an office for sorting and storing paper. Next up, a great find you can get at the Dollar Tree is actually the garden hooks. These are a seasonal item. So they only come out typically in the spring into the summer, but these work amazing as S hooks and I love S hooks for organizing around the house. I store all my cleaning tools like my broom, my Swiffer, my dustpan in a hanging pantry. So these work awesome. They're literally the perfect solution, but you can literally hang so much with S hooks. They are super versatile, great for closet and wall organization. Next up is the magnet pocket charts. You actually get these in like the school teacher area and they're just little pockets with magnets on the back. I assume teachers are using them to like stick onto dry erase boards to store like dry erase supplies and flashcards and what have you. And they're a great teacher supply, but I actually find that they're really great to use in your house to stick on the fridge. I don't know about you guys, but we always keep like our important papers of like things we need to get to on our refrigerator, but this can get really cluttered and messy. So this little pocket chart is easy because you could just pop all the papers right inside to keep it organized. And these pockets are actually really roomy. You could even use them for all sorts of general kitchen storage, like spice packets, tea bags, and all sorts of other little odds and ends around the kitchen. And on the topic of pocket charts, Dollar Tree also sells just regular pocket charts that aren't magnets, also in the teacher section. And these can be used for a lot of different things, but personally, I find them great for jewelry storage, whether you're just storing your jewelry at home or you're using it to pack some jewelry for travel. I love it because you can put jewelry in each little window. You can, at a quick glance, see your different pieces of jewelry, but when you fold it up, it keeps things from getting tangled or getting mixed together. It's literally like the best jewelry storage solution for only a dollar. Okay, let's talk about the uh, removable self-adhesive uh, hooks that you can get at the Dollar Tree. These are essentially like Dollar Tree's version of command hooks. And I personally find them to be equal to command hooks in the same like weight limit category. So command hooks, if you don't know, they come by weight limit. So you can buy command hooks that hold up to a half pound, up to a pound, up to three pounds, and then so on. And the Dollar Tree ones claim to hold things up to a pound. And I literally find the Dollar Tree ones are equivalent to the half pound or one pound command hooks, but just at a way better price point. And there are so many different uses for these hooks. I use some in my kitchen to hang up pot holders. I just hang the pot holders right on the side of my oven. That way they're always right where I need them. It's just a quick, easy storage solution to keep my pot holders right where I need them when I need them. I also have some stuck onto my plastic food containers in my pantry so that I can hang measuring spoons or measuring cups onto the outside of the container. During the holidays, I love using these hooks upside down on the inside of kitchen cabinets to hang holiday wreaths. You can also do the same thing to hang wreaths just like on your door, but typically wreaths for the doors are a little bit heavier, so you may not want to use these ones. They work great for cabinet wreaths because those tend to be less than a pound. I use them all around my house to hang lightweight wall decor, um, specifically in my son's room and my son's playroom. It's just a great place to be able to stick up some of his like wall stuff that I don't necessarily need to be permanent. Another great trick for these, not necessarily storage, but I'm just gonna throw it in there, is to put two of them upside down on either side of your kitchen trash bin. And then that way you can hook the handles of your trash bags to these and it's gonna prevent the trash bag from constantly falling into the trash bin, which is so annoying. And last but not least, I've used these on the back of my son's high chair um, to store his bibs. He no longer uses bibs, but I will be using this for baby two when she comes along. Keeping your bibs on the back of the high chair is literally the best solution because when you're done washing them, you just can hang them right there to dry. And then the minute your kid is in the high chair and about to make a big mess, you have your bibs right where you need them. Okay, let's move along and talk about literally one of my favorite and most used Dollar Tree storage 
items and that is their small drawer organizers. They have both the plastic ones and the wire ones. The plastic ones actually come in sets of three. So you get three for a dollar and then the wire ones you get a single one for a dollar. I find so many uses for these. So I'll give you a few examples. We have sets of these in our bathroom. I use it to store little things like nail polish, nail clippers, toothbrush replacement heads. You can use it for makeup. I love it because it allows me to organize my bathroom drawers by item. So I have literally one for that's like teeth stuff, one that's nail stuff, and then one that's skin stuff. And it just keeps all of the bathroom clutter so much more organized. I also am using one currently in my daughter's nursery. Babies have all sorts of little things and if you don't organize inside the drawers, it just becomes a big mess. And this is the perfect size to store pacifiers. So I'm using it to store pacifiers inside of her dresser. Honestly, I just always keep these little drawer organizers um, handy, like I always, I always have some spare ones in my basement because I just find so many uses for them. The wire ones are just as great, but I tend to use them a little bit differently because the bottom is more open. I don't tend to use them for drawer organizing as much, but one of my favorite ways to use them is actually to use two of the um, removable hooks that we were just talking about. And you can stick two of these anywhere, like inside of a cabinet, on a wall, on the side of a cupboard, and then you can hang the little wire basket on that. It just gives you a little bit of extra storage where you didn't have some before. One of my favorite ways to use it is inside a kitchen cupboard or a closet door and to put them along the actual door because it just makes use of space that you were not utilizing before and I'm all about maximizing space. One sort of hidden storage item of the Dollar Tree that I feel like a lot of people sort of skip over or don't think to use is actually their clothespins. But I use clothespins for all sorts of storage. One of my favorite ways to use them is just to take the strips that come with the um, self-adhesive hooks and then clip these clothespins different places for all sorts of different uses. So a couple examples, I have two of them that are clipped inside of the cupboard where I keep my son's boots and jackets. And I use this to hang his mittens and or his hats when he's been out in the snow to let them sort of dry off and just to keep them organized because toddler hats and mittens are tiny and they get lost really easily. I also keep some of them clipped inside of our pantry and I will use this to store any of my important receipts as well as any other bills or important paperwork. I love this because it's just a really quick little clip. It's right where you need it, easy access. Another place that I use these is actually for kids art since it's really easy to just switch in and out with clothespins. So I have some self-adhesive hooks in my son's play corner along with some string and then I can just clip art right onto the string to display it. And like I said, it makes it really easy to swap it out as he makes new pieces of art. All right, let's move on to the kitchen. The Dollar Tree has all sorts of great stuff for organizing your pantry. One of my favorite products is actually their wire bins. These come in gold and white and black. Obviously these have tons of uses, but personally I've been using the gold ones in my pantry for about a year. I have them labeled with the little clip-on chalkboard signs also from the Dollar Tree, and they are great for pa pantry odds and ends. They have small jars or small bags like snacks and granola bars and that sort of stuff. Another thing I love from the Dollar Tree is their label stickers. You get these in the office section and you get huge packs for a dollar. And I label all of my pantry storage with them, which just keeps things more organized and structured inside the pantry. And speaking of which, I do use a lot of the plastic storage items from the Dollar Tree in my pantry. I think their plastic storage bins are great for pantry items because you can get a really good variety of sizes and shapes. I like this tall one with the twist top because it is great for dry goods like oatmeal and pastas. They also have ones with flip tops so you can put in dry goods and then use the flip top to pour it out. Great for cereals and sugars and that sort of stuff. Another item I use in my pantry from the Dollar Tree is their shelf risers. The shelf risers are not very big, but for only a dollar they work really great. And our pantry has a lot of vertical space, so it's like a lot of unused space that I couldn't like take advantage of, and that's why these shelf risers are perfect. It allows me to store a ton more condiments and other dry goods that I wouldn't have been able to fit in there before. And a little hack for these, you can actually combine two to three or more of the shelf risers together just using the Dollar tree zip ties. So if you do need a longer uh, shelf riser, you can just combine them together and you're still only paying maybe two or three dollars, which is way cheaper than you would spend to get shelf risers somewhere else. 
Another one of my favorite Dollar Tree storage products is their locker bins. I just find that these are super versatile. They're kind of that size and shape that you find a million different uses for them. They also come in a million different colors. Personally, I keep my eyes out for the white ones because they're just a little more neutral. Right now, I have a couple of them that I'm using in my daughter's nursery because they fit perfectly above her wardrobe. It's just great for storing like extra toys and burp cloths and all of that sort of stuff. We also have a handful of them that we keep down in our basement to store hardware and tools stuff because again like i said they're kind of that like ideal size they fit perfectly onto bookshelves not to mention another reason these are so versatile is because they're really easy to upcycle to make them look a little bit like more high end one of my favorite ways to do this is to use the contact paper that you can get at the dollar tree or just contact any contact paper it doesn't have to be dollar tree contact paper but it's really easy to just cover these bins and give them like a fresh updated look which is really Really nice if you're going to be using them somewhere that they're like out on open shelving. Another way that I've upcycled these is using the Dollar Tree uh, fleece baby blankets and then some of the Dollar Tree jute rope. This DIY is obviously a little more involved, but you can actually fill the inside with fabric and then cover the outside in jute rope. And it looks like a much higher end basket than the price. Again, really great way to use these storage bins on a place where you might have some open shelving. Another random storage item I love from the Dollar Tree that has so many uses is their over the door hooks. These are seriously just simple and versatile to make some more room for storage on the back of a door, a place where you probably didn't have any storage before. I just recently got one of these to add to our downstairs bathroom because I always needed somewhere to hang my robe and I was constantly having to go like upstairs to hang it or I'd be downstairs and I realized that I needed it. And so now I just have like a simple place that I can keep it. And what's nice about the over the door organizers is that they're renter friendly. You don't have to put any holes in the door. They also sell over the door organizers with six hooks, which gives you even more storage. We've actually been using one of these for at least the last year on the back of our basement door to hang up all of our winter coats because we don't have a coat closet or a mudroom in this house and a little trick is I actually combined two of them so I took one and I straightened out the over the door hook part and then again using those Dollar Tree zip ties I just combined two together so instead of six hooks I got 12 hooks which just gave me even more storage on the back of this door so we can do again like I said all of our winter jackets and what have you but we can also throw like hats and mittens on there too. All right my friends that does it that was some of my like favorite most handy Dollar Tree storage and organization ideas that you'll actually probably use around your house and I'm saying that because these are all ones that I am like literally using around my house right now as we speak if you want some more Dollar Tree storage and organization uh, inspiration I'll link some of my other past videos for you down below but as always thank you so much for stopping by and watching I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video Bye.